Yo, what's up? This is Jamario, and I love J Ross TV. What's up, y'all? Hey, man. First of all, I got to say what's up to my boy Jay. Y'all here in town playing bass with Monica, but yeah. most of y'all probably know him from winning that uh, making the band with P Diddy on bass, y'all. But I got to send a shout out real quick to my boy Levi Two King, y'all. We not in we in a basement number two because we not in St. Louis, y'all. But anyway, this my cat, y'all. He in town. Let's find out what's up with him. What's up, Jay? What's going on, everybody? Just up here in St. Louis, got here this morning for the Monica Trey Songs tour. Coming to rock the house at the Fox Theater tonight. Hey, that's a man with confidence there, y'all. <laughs> hey, now, you 20 years old, right? Yes. You started playing when you were nine. Yes. Now, who, 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 who said, who did you look at and say, man, I got to play bass? Or was it for the girls? Well, no, it was, <laughs> Victor, Wooten, Victor Wooten has always been an inspiration. Uh, my favorite bass player is James Davidson, Pino Palladino. Victor Wooten, Marcus Miller, so many bass players I can name, but they're all my favorite. My style is them mixed in one. What do you mean? Now you like now Vic is like a like a like a three wing circus. Marcus might like a groove cat. Yeah. The other cat uh, now James Jameson is just straight up laid down. Yeah. And Pino. So uh, how did you incorporate all of them into your style? Listening to them so much, you know. Um, at one point in time, I was going through a phase where I would sound like each one of them. You know, people would compare me to Victor, or people would compare me to Mark, um, Mark Smello, or Mar Maurice Fitzgerald, or somebody. Right. I would sound like them, so I was just like, okay, it's time to form my own style. So I put all of it in one and made it my own. So, you know, when you got all these beats like that, you have the best of all worlds. You know, coming to Pino Palladino, you'll be like the best soul bass player ever. You know, pop bass player, James Jameson, the best old school funky bass player. Mark Smello is super funky. Add all this in one, you know, and I'm, I'm 20, you know, at 20, you know, a lot of people don't think of it that way, you know, but I love older school bass, old school bass players and mix it in with the new, and that's the best of me. Dude, you 20, man, quit rambling that in, don't say that so loud, man. <laughs> all the rest of us ain't feeling that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, once again, sitting over here in Illinois at the studios of Levi 2 King with my boy Jamario Artis in town with Monica, and, uh, but all right, Jay, now you 20. That's got to be like a heavy toll, or is it, you know, touring at such an early, such a young age? I love it. Um, touring is my favorite. Only thing different for me is I normally sleep super late. I get up at like 3 p.m. all the time. So when we're riding the bus, I'm sleeping. And, you know, it, it just, when it wakes me up, I have a headache. We get inside the hotels, and we have to get up all early. And I'm like, man, can I just sleep about five or six more hours? And I'll just be happy. You know, that's the only <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's good. I love it. Now, on that making the band thing, kind of give us a little, uh, I guess, behind the scenes stuff of what went on, man. Because I'm looking at you on TV. I'm like, that's my boy, Jay. Then I got my boy, Tim. And I'm like, oh, man. It, was the competition fierce or was it friendly? It was, well, it was Friendly and fierce, you know, we all looked out for each other, um, we were all, well, I can't say I did, because I was new to Key Bass on making this band. Um, Tim and uh, one of my other friends, Walter Barnes and David Parks on the show, we were the last four standing. They would all give me insight on Key Bass and they would help me, even though they supposed to be playing against me. You know, they were helping me out, telling me to don't be so scared or put a feel into it and all kind of things. It was fierce though, everybody in the house were monsters. Um, it didn't look that way on the TV show, but trust and believe, everybody in the house were fierce musicians. It was all friendly though. I don't know that. Uh, uh, I don't think P. Diddy gonna call me and get on me about this one, but I don't believe you. Now you got four top cats on bass, it's gotta be something. Now is it what we, is it representative of what we saw? Give us some dirt, man. I guess what I'm trying to do. Give us some dirt on what happened behind the scenes, man. Well, don't do that. We don't do that because I love all you cats. But let me ask you this. Since winning it, uh, has it proven to be beneficial in your career? As far as help, el el by making the band, has it helped elevate you, you know, uh, your, your, uh, you know, people, your notoriety and stuff like that? Making this band was, if it was nothing else, it, it, it helped me out a lot. You know, I, I came from... First of all, I come from an area in North Carolina that's really no opportunity. Okay. You know, um, when I got on making this band, for one, I didn't know that I was going to even make it to the next round. You know, when I did the show, you know, after everything was over and we did it, not knowing when it aired on TV that I would turn out to be where I am today. You know, this is a major step for me. Uh, making this band, the TV publicity and everything, got me a Fender bass endorsement, Gallery and Kruger, 
Um, I'm out on tour with Trey Sons and Monica. So many other things are going to happen. I'm a part of a production team with a producer named Diesel out of LA. He does Lil Wayne, Drake, Tina Marie. There's all all these things that happen. I'm here with Jay Ross right now. Hey. You know, the coolest guy on earth. The there it is. Base Report and Jay Ross TV. Yeah, I'm in style. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, so now, 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 okay, let's get a little serious right now. Say, all right, you're 20. Now, we, 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 let me quit stuttering. When we talk, you always say, man, I don't want to do this all my life. I want to do, do other things. Talk to, talk to the people about some of the other things you like to do with your life down the road. Well, besides from touring, I don't, me personally, I don't want to be 40 years old having to tour. You know, by that time, I would like to have my own family and kids. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my own music school. Oh, yeah. And, and, that's, and that's, that's in the works right now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm saving and I'm trying to get my own music school. You know, um, North Carolina doesn't have a music school. Uh, we don't, as a matter of fact, we really don't have anything dealing with music in North Carolina. Do y'all have a McDonald's? We have McDonald's. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have McDonald's. We don't have a, a Walmart. Yeah, a Walmart. Oh, yeah. But we don't have a music school. And there's a lot of musicians in North Carolina and probably everywhere, you know, but I just want, I want to give something that's a little bit, I want to give the Berkeley of North Carolina, but I want it to be just a tad bit better. It's going to take time, but I want it to be a tad bit better for musicians that maybe don't quite have the funds as much, you know, to go right. to Berkeley or, you know, younger musicians that, that want to do what I'm, what I'm starting to do, you know, what all these other great bass players are doing. You know, um, I just want to open the door. The same way the door was open, the same way the door was opening for me, I want it to be that way for everybody else.